Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for Unmatched Cobble and Fog. Yes, this one is designed by a group of designers. It's designed by Rob Davio, Justin Jacobson, Kevin Rogers, and Chris Leader. Yes. I nailed it. Good job. All four of them, yes. <laughs> uh, it's published by Restoration Games as well as Mondo Games. And we are going to show you how to play it today. And actually, before we begin, we do want to mention that in the past, we have been sponsored to do a playthrough of this on Watch Played. Mm -hmm. This is not a sponsored video today. We just wanted to do another quick playthrough as we're kind of getting back into the swing of things. Yep. And also to announce to anybody else out there who really enjoys the Unmatched uh, series that they're going to be having a Game Found campaign soon for a, uh, a storage unit. So you can store your collection of Unmatched sets in that storage unit. Yeah, if you're not familiar with Unmatch, it's basically a game where uh, you're going to be fighting to the death against your opponent uh, from different characters from popular culture. Mm -hmm. So like today, I'm going to be playing as Dracula, Monique will be playing as Jekyll and Hyde. And so there's kind of these like weird combinations that are very thematic to your particular faction. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we'll see who's going to win today. Yes, it is a card-based asymmetrical tactical game. And if you want to know more information about this campaign Monique was talking about, there'll be a link down in the description. And of course, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And without further ado, we are ready to begin. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for our two-player game of Unmatched Cobble and Fog. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we have the, I believe this is the Soho district of the board. Yes, this board is double-sided, so we have chosen to play on this side of the board. Yes, and typically these sets come with their own special board that sometimes has special rules. Mm -hmm. The set of the board that we're playing with today does not have any special rules uh, whatsoever. Now, as you can see, we already have our pieces set up on the board. Naveen is playing, of course, as Dracula. And he's going to be going first because he placed his piece on the number one spot right there. Mm -hmm. And as Dracula, would you like to introduce your sidekicks? Yeah, uh, I am Dracula, and I have three sisters that are going to help me try to defeat Jekyll slash Hyde over here. Right. So I'm here on the number two spot because I'm going second. And I am both Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, of course, if you're familiar with that story. And I don't have any sidekicks. It's just me You are uh, your alone. own sidekick. Oh, yeah, that's actually, yes, that's true. I'm yeah. my own internal sidekick. Sure. And so I'm going to start with a health of 16. And Naveen? Uh, I start with 13 health. And so, again, the object of the game is to just knock your opponent completely down to zero. Now, if you've never played Unmatched before, sidekicks do not count. So, Naveen's sidekicks each have a health of one. Right. If I'm ever able to just hit them for one, they're going to re get removed from the game and to not get brought back for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. But I actually don't have to defeat them in order to win. I literally only have to bring Dracula's health down to zero. Now, in general, the way that the Unmatched series works is each character has their own uh, specific, unique deck of cards. And this can be very uh, thematic towards the, the character's story or wherever the character's from. Mm -hmm. And so at the start of the game, we're going to shuffle this and we're going to start the game with a hand of five cards. And so the way that uh, the game works is we're just going to be taking turns doing one of three things. And so on your turn, you have to take two actions. Mm -hmm. There are three different things you can take for an action, but you get to choose the, the combination of two that you're required to take on your turn. And the actions are really simple. The first thing that you can do is you can maneuver, and maneuver is essentially just moving around the board. Yep. Anytime you choose to maneuver, you must draw a card first from the top of your deck. That is mandatory. The movement actually is optional, but drawing a card is mandatory, and you're gonna wanna do that. After you draw a card, when you do a maneuver, then you get to move your fighters, and the amount of spaces you can move is actually listed on your character card. So for the both of us, we have up to a maximum of two spaces. And for Naveen, he can move any number of his fighters for one maneuver action. Yeah, exactly. So this sister or this one, they can each move twice, including my action figurine right here. And that sister. I don't know why you ignored her. I mean, I didn't want to be redundant. And when moving, all of these spaces have lines connected to them, and that represents adjacency. So you have to go you know, across these lines when you move. And you'll also notice that there are various colors on the board, and those just represent the different zones. And so zones may come into play uh, if you have characters who do range attack or just anything that it says on the card. Mm -hmm. Just know that each color represents a single zone. And as you can see, some of these spaces are part of multiple zones. Yes, that's right. And the last thing about movement is specifically when taking that maneuver action, if you want to move further than that uh, two space distance, you can discard a card from your hand and add the boost value, which is going to be just like that little number in the circle. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the card goes out of the game, but you get to move further for that, that action. The next type of action you can take is called Scheme, and those are pretty straightforward. We'll probably uh, explain them more as you play the game, but it's basically playing a card from your hand that has a lightning bolt symbol. These are going to vary wildly depending on which characters you play, but the basic concept for any of the cards in your hand is when you play them, they have to be utilized by a specific character. So for me, at the start of my turn, I get to choose who I'm going to be as for that, uh, that turn, either Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. And so in order for me to play, say, this card, I have to be Mr. Hyde that turn. Mm -hmm. So... And lastly, of course, you can attack. And so typically, you, you typically need to be adjacent to attack. Some characters allow you to attack uh, using range, but both Naveen and I, our characters are both uh, melee, melee attack mm -hmm. style. As long as my char character is next to a character that I'd like to attack, I can play uh, a card from my hand that has that attack symbol, which is like a, a pow. It's typically a red pow, like this one. This is specifically an attack card. Some cards are also defense cards that look like this, and some are both, and those are the purple ones. And so when you attack um, another character, you're gonna choose a card from your hand, an attack card, and you're gonna place it face down. And then I'm gonna say, Naveen, would you like to defend? And you don't have to defend. I don't have to, but well, let's just say I say, yes, I would like to defend. Then you reveal your cards at the same time, and then you would basically calculate the difference between my attack number and Naveen's attack value. Mm -hmm. And that's how much health he would lose. In yeah. this situation, he would lose no health. Yeah, so it would be her attack value against my defense value. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. And then some of these cards have certain effects, which we'll also uh, go over as we play the game. Mm -hmm. And that is pretty much how you play the game in any of the unmatched games, really. Um, as soon as somebody's health dial goes down to zero, then they lose the game. And so uh, we're just going to go ahead and shuffle and then get started with our playthrough. Yeah. All right, so now we are all reset. We have our starting hand of five cards each. We are all uh, reset back on the board as well with yep. Naveen's three sisters here. Yeah, I kept them there. Yep, and I start the game as Dr. Jekyll, even though at the start of my turn, I can choose to transform into either Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. But it is first Naveen. So first yes. turn of the game, take it away. Okay, again, I can do two of these three things. So the first mm -hmm. thing I'm gonna do is maneuver. So I must draw a card, which I will gladly do. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is move, and I have up to two spaces to move each one of my sisters. So I'm going to move her one, and this one one, two. Okay. And then I'm going to play a scheme card. So you're not going to move anybody else? Uh, I think I'm going to hang them back, because they only take, can take one damage. So okay. <laughs> don't want to get them all Well, hurt. you can move uh, Dracula. You can move all, any number I of your I know, I know I can, but it's like, <laughs> do I want to? Is no. It? All right, fine, sold, one, two. Yes, <laughs> I convinced him. Yeah. All right, so then I will play uh, Sister here. So it's Ravening Seduction, and it says move any fighter up to two spaces. After moving, deal one damage to the move fighter for each sister adjacent to them. Uh, I'm going to move this fighter, <gasps> one, two. Already? So that's two damage to you, Monique. Yeah. Boom. Wow. Okay. With no, no ability to defend against Gloves it. off. Yeah. Just. I mean, right they're the going to get whacked. But... <laughs> they are going to get whacked. That is true. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> okay. might as well go down swinging. See what you did there. Are you done with your turn? That's there, it. There, Dracula. Yeah, All right. It. Dracula's done. So my health is already at 14. Um, it is to me. I have to decide first if I'd like to be. Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. So the difference, just so you know, is doc, uh, Dr. Jekyll's cards are, are not typically as strong as Mr. Hyde's, but whenever you maneuver, whenever I do a movement with Mr. Hyde, I take a damage. Mm. So it's not in my best interest if I'm gonna be moving around the board to be Mr. Hyde. So you wanna move as Jekyll, hit as Hyde. Right. And this is really good because you can't pass uh, rival fighters. Yeah, you can only sure. pass through your own uh, allies. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my turn by transforming into Mr. Hyde. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to be Mr. Hyde right now, which means I probably don't want to do a maneuver. I'm going to start by doing a scheme. Scheme. So I'm going to play this card, and it is... Mwaha, it's pure, pure evil. evil. Picture, huh? <laughs> so place Mr. Hyde in any space in his zone. So I'm going to place him there. And then Are Mr. Hyde... Yeah, I'm going to keep him there. Okay. Mr. Hyde deals two damage to all adjacent Wow. Fighters. Okay, so, see you later. Yeah, these two sisters, sisters are, are gone. I mean, okay. And this gets discarded. Wow. Okay, I'm going to maneuver. Okay. I think I kind of have to. So if you're going to do that, you have to take a, I do. a hit. Yeah, after I maneuver, I take the damage. I'm going to move uh, two spaces. I'm going to go one, two. Okay. Just like that. And I think that's it. Those are my two actions. I have five cards in my hand. There is a seven card uh, hand limit that you have to observe at the end of your turn. And 
I stay as Mr. Hyde until the start of my next turn when I have to decide again, because sometimes my defense cards will right. require me to be a certain character. Right, right. So that's important. All right, back to you. Back to me. Okay, so, um, okay, I think I'm going to maneuver. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a card to start. And then uh, I'm going to maneuver this sister. We're going to go through. So you can go through your own allies. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be one, two. And then we are going to do an attack. You're attacking We're me? We're attacking Mr. Hyde. Attacking Mr. Hyde. And this is my card I'm going to play. You do not have to defend this. It's just a shame that I am who I am <laughs> oh, yeah? at this point Good. in time. I will defend Okay. playing that card. You ready? Yes. One, two, three. Four. Three. Uh, so technically, I win yeah. the combat because I uh, did not have to take any damage. Right. Um, it's it's a shame that I don't you know retaliate because I have a higher value here. Okay. But uh, we both also have um, effects here, mm -hmm. and they're both after combat effects. Okay. Yeah. Mine says if I won, so it did not happen. So okay. Let's go ahead and resolve it. So guys. my skirmish card says if you won the combat, choose one of the fighters in the combat and move them up to two spaces. So that technically is a way you can get me out of the way and then come attack me on the next one, huh? Yeah, it is. You know, I'm not going to do it. Okay. It says I can move them up to two spaces. So you're going to go to zero so spaces. I'm going zero. Okay. I'm going to leave that sister there. Sure. <laughs> it's a sign of what's to come, uh, maybe. All right. Okay. So it is to you. All right. So now I must decide. Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm going to be Dr. Jekyll this time. So I'm going to flip this over. Jacqueline. Actually, sorry. I need to be Mr. Hyde. So I did not sure. read that card properly. Okay. Yes. Okay. So um, I'm going to be Mr. Hyde, and then I'm going to start by doing an attack on the sister. Okay. So I'm going to or I'm going to do an attack. Go <laughs> are you going to defend? Um. Well, which card are you, you going to put one out? Yeah. We we both put them out at the same time. All right. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm not. A, you can't bluff an attack. You must play an attack card. I, <laughs> I could bluff a defense though. No, you, I could be like, uh, and then I'd be like, okay, go ahead. No, you pretty much have to decide. Like, you're defending. <laughs> I or know. No? <laughs> I know. Um, I will not defend. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, then. Sacrificial lamb. Uh, yes, she must be sacrificed. So this is a attack of four. It's going to remove the sister. Okay. And then it says, after combat, I transform to Dr. Jekyll. No problem. So now I'm Dr. Jekyll so that for my second action, I can do a maneuver and not uh, feel the pain Sure. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and draw a card. And I'm going to run away. <laughs> okay. And I'm just going to take two steps back. Sure. Just like that. All right. Okay. That's me. Sounds good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and maneuver. So I'm going to draw a card. Okay. And let's see. So now it's just us. This is like the standoff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, discard one card to boost. So I'm going to use uh, two points of boost. So uh -huh. I have my natural move of one, two, plus one. So I'm just going to kind of run up on you right there. Okay. <laughs> I kind of went into the corner. You did. You did. But, uh, you know, where else are we going to go? Yeah. Okay. And so now I think I will attack you. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. Who am I, Dr. Guys. Jekyll? Yes. Okay. I am going to defend. Okay. There you go. All right. One, Ready? two, three, six. Whoa. <laughs> And it says, oh my gosh. during combat, you may discard any number of cards from your hand. This card's value is plus one for each card you discard. Wow. So I will... I'll have you know, though, uh -huh. that the scientific method says after combat, I get to draw a number of cards equal to the damage you are dealt. So every card you discard to deal me your an extra damage... Your hand limit is how much? Seven? At the end of my turn. At the end of your turn. And what, how many cards do you have? I have three, but uh, I can only play two cards on my turn yeah. also. You've yeah. got mine, so... Hmm. Might as well do five. You can discard a card? Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and I'll, I'll discard this card right here, which is Baptism of Blood. Ugh. So plus one for each card you discard. Yeah, so you did so seven. So I did f five, five damage. damage. Oh. It feels good. What's 14 minus five? Is that nine? Nine. Woo. Ouch. Going hard. Oh, that, that was rough. So I get to draw you five do. cards. Five cards. That's great. I will not need to maneuver for a long time. Four, okay. five. All right. Was that your second action? That was. I maneuvered and then I attacked. Wow. I feel rich. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many cards. Yep. Okay. So it's back to me. I now get to decide if I'd like to be Dr. Jekyll or Hyde. I just want to hit you with the hardest thing I've got. And just remember, Monique, at the start of my turn, my turn, I may deal one damage to a fighter adjacent to Dracula. And if I oh. do, I draw a card. 
Oh my gosh. That, that this is the first time this is that the this Dracula's is possible, right? right? There, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be Mr. Hyde. Alright. Let's just do it. Let's go full <laughs> Full force. Full, full force. Hard. MR Hyde. Oh no. Alright, I'm gonna attack you. So I'm playing this card. I understand. Ready? Um, one, two, three. It's a two. It's a two. Okay, wow. this one says uh you immediately cancel all effects on your opponent's card. Oh well. <laughs> This one said, look into my eyes. It says, add the boost value of your opponent's attack card to, to the defense value of this card. Nice. So that says no to that. Yes. All right. And I, I fainted the look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh. So two minus one is one. One hit. One All right. Hit. Is this the first That's time I'm, not too bad. I'm actually damaging you? Yeah, this pretty game? early. Okay. All right. Down well, I'm going 12. to attack you again. Again? You're yes. going to stay right? Okay. I'm staying right Interesting. there. Interesting. attacking. Okay. I'll You're defending? Do this one, yeah. One, two, three. Three. Five. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So yours is a dash. Uh, it's an after combat. Mine's recoiling blow. So five minus three. Okay. You two. get hit with two. two. Okay. See, I've got ten. You got nine. It's not bad. So mine says after combat, I can place Mr. Hyde in any space in his zone and then transform to Dr. Jekyll. You can move your fighter up to three spaces. Yes. And since you are the defender, you get to resolve your effect first. It's in the rules. Which is a great thing. For me. So you're gonna place Mr. Hyde in any space in his uh, his zone. Yeah. So, so you're if you're trying to avoid me, avoid this color or that color. I, I don't know if I'm trying to avoid you. The thing is, you're just gonna do the opposite of what I want to do because I want to be next to you just to passively damage you. That is true, and I think it might be inevitable because of how far the pink kind of extends to. Pink. Or I don't know what color this is yeah. actually. Uh, for anybody who has trouble or mm -hmm. difficulty with the distinguishing color, there's, there's also texture. Yeah. So you can kind of tell the difference. The texture is actually the texture pretty is, good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. I'll just I'll just go far. I'll just run one, two, three, and we can just live another day. <laughs> Where are you so going? you're not gonna get to do that. No. Okay. But so I, I know if I you know didn't move, you would just leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like right. why would you take a hit? Okay, I'm gonna place Mr. Hyde in that spot. Yeah. <laughs> Still in the same zone. Nice. And then it says I finally get to transform to Dr. Jekyll. So now I'm Dr. Jekyll. Uh, for defending purposes, I suppose. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Yeah. So now it goes back to you. Well, I'm not next to you anymore, clearly. So <laughs> I yeah, will... Yeah, so that does not apply, unfortunately. I'll definitely maneuver. And I'm... by the way, if mm -hmm. anybody is curious about a score check, I have a health of nine. Nine to ten. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, okay. I'm going to draw a card to maneuver. Okay. Okay. And then um, you don't have to move here, and you can do the same action again. So I'm just going to draw another card. Are you just going to maneuver twice? It's going to maneuver twice, because I only had one card in my hand after a while there. That was not pretty good. And I'm going to start my turn as uh, Mr. Hyde. Okay. So I like being Mr. Hyde. <laughs> sure. Okay, so, oh no, shoot. Because you have to maneuver, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to cost you a, an owie. It is. That's okay. All right, I'll be Dr. Jekyll. <sighs> you convinced me. I did. And I want to take, this is not the time to be taking uh, just... You know, hits anywhere. <laughs> when you're right? like five spaces away from me, just taking a hit for moving. Yeah, it's awful. Doesn't seem right. I am going to do a maneuver though. So my first action is maneuver, draw a card, and I'm going to move. I'm going to discard a card. I'm going to discard this card. So it has a boost value of three. So now I can do the full. Are you going to run up on me? I am. One, two, three, four, five. I feel I feel not that great about having placed my <laughs> my character so far away that I had to do that. Okay. But yes. I think I'm going to attack you. Okay. I mean, I kind of have to now, right? Jekyll. I'm going to attack you. Are you okay. going to defend? I will not be defending. Oh. Sometimes you don't get might the cards. might be telling me something. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is great. Okay. Well, I'm going to attack for oh, four. Four. And then it says, after combat, if you won the combat, choose one of the fighters and move them up to two spaces. You're going to move So, me? yes. You're going to give I'm me a little space. I'm going to push you... Down to six. There. Because mm. I don't want to start next to you. No. All right. So, that is the end of my turn. I maneuvered, and then I attacked. So, it's your turn. And I have five cards. Okay. You're down to six? I am great. down to six. Well, <laughs> I am going to go ahead and play a scheme card. Okay. Baptism of Blood, recover oh, two health, return no. a defended sister, if any, to any space in Dracula's zone. So we're going to gain defeated a sister. sister. Sorry, a defeated sister. Sorry, <laughs> I can't read. And I'll go ahead and place this sister here. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to maneuver. So let's go ahead and draw a card. And let's move myself. One, two, one, two. 
let's just do barricading that. did you recover your health um yeah i know i didn't thank you because Six, that's eight. the whole the that baptism was, of blood right yeah that's right i just did a whole sister thing and i forgot it's thank a really you. horrifying card <laughs> I, it is yeah. baptism of blood <laughs> your turn okay my turn mm -hmm. okay so who do we want to be hide it up no i'm gonna say dr jekyll okay because i'm clearly i'm far away okay so i'm gonna maneuver so i'm gonna draw a card I'm going to move four spaces by discarding this card as well and adding that boost value of two. Okay. So, oh no, three spaces. Oh, it's only three spaces. Hold on. Hold the phone. Ah, I guess I'll still discard that card. So one, two, three. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm going to attack you, All right. Naveen. So hold on. Let me just choose a card. I'm going to attack you with this one. Okay. I won't be defending. Still no defending. If you don't have them. Here we go. Four. Oh, you have the same card? Huh? That's the same card that you did the last time? The Skirmish? Yeah. Did I play Skirmish? Yes. Yeah, there's uh, some repeat. I think I have three of these. Yeah. I have three of these in my deck. There's a number at the bottom right-hand corner of the card that tells you how many copies that you have in your deck. So it's like four hits? So yeah, that's four four oh, damage. Man. And then it says after combat, if I won combat, I can I can move up to two spaces. So I do want to get away. I like doing this, like, get close and, yeah, it's you annoying. know, hit. And come back. <laughs> it's really annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go this way. One... Oh, two. All right, I'm going to maneuver, so I'm going to draw a card. Okay. And then I'm going to put my sister one, two, like that. Nice. And what's my threats here? So unless you have a card that says spawn wherever you want, I think that should be pretty good. Uh, I'm going to maneuver again. So let's go ahead and draw a card. Okay, that's me. I'm not going to move anymore. You're not going to move? No. Oh, I'm so cards. far away. Yeah. Now I have to get through her. <laughs> uh... I'll stay as Dr. Jekyll because I feel like Dr. Jekyll is a lot more uh, maneuverable, okay. which I will do first. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a card. How many spaces would it take to get to you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can only discard one card. To right. Lose so it's not possible. Well, I'm going to start making my way. Okay. So one, two, and then I'm just going to maneuver one more time. So I draw a card and I'm going to go this way. One, two. Back to you. Okay, I'm also going to start by maneuvering. So okay. let's go ahead and draw. Coming my way. I am, yeah. And with that maneuver, I'm just going to move the sister one, two. Okay. And then I'm going to play a scheme card. So let's go ahead and play this one, which was that um, the one I played earlier. So it says, move any fighter up to two spaces after moving, deal one damage to the move fighter for each sister. So I'm going to move you here Ugh. and then deal one damage to you. Awful. That's nice because you got me trapped i do have like, you right trapped and you have, to, you have to hit her in order to to get through oh my gosh why did she come back <laughs> i think i might have misspoken in the the beginning of the video when i said that they have one health point but you can resurrect them yeah i guess some of the sidekicks can be brought back all right back to me i'm going to stay dr jekyll and you know what enough is enough what with this gonna... sister i'm going to oh. attack are you swiping the sister i am going to try okay uh, I'm going to attack using this card. Will okay. you defend, sister? I will not defend the sister. Yes. All right. So I use Distracted Triage oh. um, as a three damage. It removes the sister. And then it says, after combat, if I want, I recover two health. So All this right. goes to 10. And then... Um, You're at 10? Yes. So I'm going to maneuver. I'm going to draw a card, and I'm just going to walk closer. Okay. So I guess I have, okay, I'm going to go one, two. That's me. Back to you. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to play a scheme card. <laughs> okay. Mist form. Place Dracula in any space. Gain one action. Wow. So I'm going to place Dracula right here. That's quite thematic. And so I have two actions now. So I. Oh, are you going to attack me? I'm going to attack you. Yes, I'm going to play this card. All right. All I am right. Dr. Jekyll, so I'm going to defend. Okay. Ready? Okay. You have four. four. Okay, so this says, during combat, your opponent discards one random card. Oh, Add no. its boost value to this card's attack value. Come on. Yeah, oh my look. gosh. Are you going to fan him like out for choose? me? Oh, yeah, I'll fan him <laughs> out. Okay. Right. I'll take nope. this one here. Boom. One. Yes. Ah. Oh, no, that's such a good card. Okay, oh, good. Look at this card, Duality of Man. Anybody can use this. If you are Dr. Jekyll and play this card to defend, the card's value is six. And if you're Mr. Hyde and use it to attack, it's value is six. You're making mm, me discard this. Nice. Ugh. Well, that's good. But it is only a boost of, of one. one. So, so three. 
Yeah. Which means um, I technically won the combat, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But I just don't take any damage. And after combat, I can move Dr. Jekyll up to four spaces. Yep. So. Uh, Will you? Yeah. No, I'm going to stay there. You stay there? Yeah. Our, our health is like four and, and ten. I can take a little bit of damage, and I feel like just trying to go for it, right? You're you have one more action? I have one more action, yeah. I'm going to stay there. It's no use running. You got to... You gotta go head in. All right, I gotta maneuver then. Okay. <laughs> you're like, if you're not gonna move, yeah. then I'm gonna move. All right, and I'm gonna move two spaces. So let's go one, two. Okay. And I don't think I will boost it. <sighs> okay, so back to me, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to Mr. Hyde. Ooh. Sorry, I am so indecisive. <laughs> I, I I meant Dr. Duckle. Okay. okay, final answer. I'm okay. gonna maneuver. So I'm gonna draw a card okay. and I'm moving. One, two, oh. right back at you. All right. Hold and then on. I'm going to attack okay. uh, using Doctor Jekyll. So that's my that's my card. Oh, you're defending this I'm time. I'm defending. Didn't anticipate that. Ready? Yes. Reveal. Four. Oh no. <laughs> two. Well, it cancels the effects of your card. Okay, so I don't get to draw a card. Right, but you don't take any damage either. Nice. Well, this is so. good. You're starting a turn right next to me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. That's it. That's the end of my turn. Yeah. And I start, you, so this is the first time you get first to First time. So to do that. you're starting a turn next to me. So at the start of your turn, you may deal one damage. I think I say yes to it. Uh, to a fighter adjacent to Dracula. I'm going to do it to you. And if I do, I get to draw a card. All right. So That's I'm at great. nine. I'll take a card. Ugh. Okay. I'll play this card. Um, this is the first action. This okay. is going to be a scheme card. Prey upon. Deal one damage to all opposing fighters adjacent to Dracula. Dracula recovers one health for each damage. I wow. get one. So now I'm this at is eight. sucking your blood. Yeah, huh? look at yeah. this is horrifying. <laughs> the art, right? Yeah, very good. Out so you're at, what do you have? Eight there? Yes. So you're you're closing the gap. It's eight I to five am now. I'm closing the gap. All right, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna attack. You attack. I'm me? gonna attack right now. Okay. Yep. All right, I'm gonna defend. All right. Go. Two. Six plus seven, eight. So Are you serious? Eight, yeah. I'm attacking you for eight. So this is that card that says you may discard any number of cards from your hand. This card's value is plus one for each card. So that's eight. But minus two. Minus two. So yes, you're oh down to gosh. two. Oh my gosh, I thought I was done. I, well, I wanted I you to not I, have any defense I thought cards. it was game over. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, is there something else? Uh, that's it. During combat. Oh, I see. Yep. So for me... Um, after combat, I can draw a number of cards equal to the damage you were dealt. <laughs> so draw six. You can draw six cards. That's really good for you. Yeah. Three, four, five, six. Cool. Going into my turn. Yeah, well, ooh. you know I have no cards in my hand, so I went for it. <laughs> the game is going to end yeah, now. <laughs> I was hoping that the first attack would have, you know. This is, this is, is going to be. Oh, you have a five hitter? Huh? Yeah, I guess you can hit me twice, right? Yeah, I can hit you twice. I have to go for it. So. <laughs> for the final turn of the game, I am going to start as Mr. Hyde, the person I've been wanting to be the entire game, and I kept on getting cold feet. You're going to double water. maneuver? I'm going to double attack. Oh, the first okay. attack is going to be this card. You said you have no cards, I have no right? cards, okay, yeah. I went for it. Then. Oh, there's a fiver. Forever Hyde. <laughs> so that's a fiver. Nice. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. Okay. Don't even read the rest. I had a, I had a second of uh, Mr. Hyde, because there's two of these <laughs> cards in the deck. You're going to hit me for 10? Yeah, I was going to hit you oh for 10. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. So, that's well, it. Well done. You're down to zero. <laughs> Dracula, game All over. Right, I'm going to make it official. And the sisters. Zero. Can't forget the sisters. Yeah, you know, I tossed, as one of the cards I tossed was uh, one of the ones that got her back. And mm -hmm. I kind of regret doing that early on. Because it also helps me recover, too. I didn't really pay attention that I only have two of these in my yeah. deck. Until I had the second one, I was like... Oh, there's only two left. Yeah, I mean, you don't yeah, have to card count in this game, but it is very useful knowing how many copies of a card, how many you can sacrifice, especially for I, boosting. I right? started the game with two of them, so mm -hmm. I just I should have looked in the bottom right corner and said, like, oh, these are the two, so hang on to them. But mm -hmm. instead, I was like, ah, I have two. There's probably, like, seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I feel like there were moments there where you didn't utilize how, how much easier it is for Dracula to flee. Like, you yeah, have that card yeah. that's like, put Dracula in any space. I just You're wanted like, to run up on you and hit yeah, you. Yeah, you, you put I, him right next I to me. I just wanted to be aggressive. Yeah. Knowing you didn't have any defensive cards. Yeah. Well, there you go. That is Unmatched Cobble and Fog. Today we played as Dracula and Jekyll and Hyde. The other two characters are the Invisible Man and... Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes, Holmes and, and Watson. Watson. That's right. And so, you know, like we were saying earlier, this is an asymmetric game. And uh, each character plays differently according to their theme. So, like, with Sherlock Holmes, there's a lot of uh, guessing. There's some kind of mind game in and that And I believe deck. there's range attack. 
With yeah, the with yeah. Uh, with Watson. Watson, I believe. Uh, and then uh, the Invisible Man has three fog tokens that you place on the board, and the they can tra- uh, teleport between the fog, right? They can move amongst their like fog tokens, as well as they uh, have an inherent defense because they're mm-hmm. kind of uh, shielded in the fog only when they're on those fog tokens. So you mm-hmm. kind of want to move and kind of sway amongst them. Mm-hmm. And the thing that's kind of unique unique about a set like this, where there are four characters, is you can play up to a four player game, and yep. that's something that we have tried with this set this specifically. This particular set, yeah. Um, whereas the other set that we played on Watch It Played is a Beowulf and Little Red Riding Hood one. That is a, I believe, a two-character Standalone set two-player. For a two-player game. You can also import players or, or pieces from other mm-hmm. uh, Unmatched and kind of mix and match yes. on different boards and stuff like that. Right. And so if you're interested in checking out that uh, Little Red Riding Hood versus Beowulf playthrough, we will include a link to that uh, gameplay in the description below. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching our video. We really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully we'll be back next week with some longer playthroughs. Yep. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.